Before we start the video, guys, I do want to issue a challenge to everybody who is watching this video. If you can watch it all the way from start to finish, I want somebody to comment down below, count every single figure that's in this collection, and also break it down by Superstar, telling me how many of each Superstar was in this video, from, you know, 20 to all the way down to 1. Tell me all the Superstars, tell me how many we have, and break it down categorically, and give me all the numbers. I would really appreciate it, guys. Stay all the way tuned through the end, and I will appreciate it so very much. But now, enjoy the video, and let's get started. What is good, everybody? Welcome to an epic My Damn Toys video. Today we have a very today we have a very special video for you guys. As you can see, I'm gonna pick the tripod up. I'm gonna try to maneuver this piece of shit. You can see over here, guys, we have every single WWE action figure custom in my collection. I have all of them spread out here, but I did not want to film it over there. So what I'm going to do is take them one by one. You guys saw them right there. I'm going to take them one by one, bring it into frame, briefly show it, and then move on and try to get through this thing as fast as possible. I wanted to showcase this because, you know, the collection has quite grown, uh, like, a lot over the past year or so. Since we did the collection video, I think, like, eight months ago, and we will update this at the New Year point like we always do, but... Uh, uh, anyways, let's go ahead and dive right in, guys. There's a ton of customs here. I tried to limit it. I wanted there to be some sort of criteria for it. You know, simple fix-ups, things of that nature won't be included in the video. But if there was paint involved, you know, some uh, some decal application, some torso cracking, a combination of all three, or, or just what I figured is a custom, I went ahead and added it in here. And, uh, again, I did I did leave out simple fix-ups and swaps because that, uh, that would probably be my whole collection. So that being said, guys, let's go ahead and dive into figure number one and continue continue this thing going. So starting things off first guys, we do have my Wrestlemania 35 Seth freaking Rollins. So you guys can see here, this was made by Angel and he is an absolute beast. He is the one who does all the customs for G Natty and this is my Wrestlemania 35 Seth Rollins. Very, very nice. Got all the good pa paint work going all the way around. We have a Bray Wyatt Fiend custom. Obviously you guys have seen this in the past couple days of videos, but there it is in the flesh. You got the sculpt from BEW. It's a head cast. We got the decals on there for the tattoos, all the different stuff going on and the entrance code. We have my custom Bloodline Roman Reigns, MDT champion currently, so basically it's just a Roman Reigns torso, arms, shoulders, and head on top of a Usos Elite 64 crotch and legs, and uh, yeah, pretty nice Roman Reigns custom. Got the day one-ish on the back. Next is my custom Elite Marty Skrull. This is with a Damian Mizdow or Sandow head sculpt and uh, has the Bullet Club t-shirt on the trunks. You do have the umbrella on there. On the back you have the villain logo. He is the current MDT revolutionary champion, and uh, you do have the knee pads on there. One thing I did do was replace the lower legs with boots. These are, I think, uh, Hall of Champions Eddie Guerrero lower legs with Sami Zayn boots, and I like the way it came out a lot. Uh, very nice formula for uh, Marty Scurll, if you guys are wondering and wanting to make one. We have my custom elite Kenny Omega. This is one of like two or three in my collection, and this is a longer bearded sculpt. We have a Kenny Omega shirt. You have the Elite Championship because he is the current MDT Elite Champion. On the butt, this is a custom fantasy attire because on the butt it has the Elite logo from the championship hand-painted by me. And then uh, we have the Omega logo on the kick pad. Next up, guys, we have my custom promo attire, Dolph Ziggler. It's got a ponytail head sculpt. This has a custom t-shirt. You got the little tuxedo jacket that he wears, uh, you know, on occasion when he's cutting promos and stuff. You have the skinny jeans, belt buckle, converses, and everything. This was made by Mad Reaper. Very nice, very unique. Never seen something like this done before. Next up is a custom Elite Rated R Lita, and this actually is custom because uh, they even added the, uh, yeah, you see what they added there. And yeah, it's pretty nice. You have the, like the camouflage slash army green pants. You have uh, sculpted on pockets. This was made by Showstopper Custom Figs. You also have the Rated R logo there. I honestly have never seen anybody else do Alita like this, so that's pretty unique. We have an Elite Custom Buddy Murphy made by Nick's Custom Toys. Very talented customizer, guys. You have this, uh, I think it's WrestleMania 35, right? And we are getting a uh, Buddy Murphy Elite very soon, but there it is. You have the custom shorts all sculpted up and nice. You got the Buzz Lightyear paint going on. I know it's a Joker attire, but it reminds me more of Buzz Lightyear with the lighter colors. Uh, but there's the Joker logo there. Very, very, very nice. All hand painted. Very crazy figure. Probably one of the best customs in my collection. You got the sh there for the best kept secret. You have sculpted on wrist tape and elbow pads. Just freaking immaculate custom right there. We have a WrestleMania 34 Seth Rollins. Made by me. I made it the day after WrestleMania 34. He even has the blue contacts in there. 
there. I need an insurance jacket to go with it, but uh, not a great custom, but not bad nonetheless. Custom WrestleMania 20, Chris Benoit right here. One of my favorite matches of all time, and one of my favorite talents. Just, you know, it's just a, it's just a shame there. We have a custom Elimination Chamber 2019 AJ Styles with the blue kick pads and the white outsoles. We have a custom Finn Balor from WrestleMania 35 made by me. Got all the chest paint going on, all the knee pad designs, trunks designs, all the demon work on the back. There's the money shot of the back design right there. Very nice custom. Probably some of my best paint work to date. All right, guys, we have three and one right here. You guys know what's up. Uh, if you guys don't follow the channel, this is a custom Teddy Roosevelt. We have a custom George Washington. And we have a custom Abraham Lincoln. So all three of these, three of my favorite figures. I love the George Washington and Abraham Lincoln the most, but uh, what, a, what a great set here. I call them the Founding Fathers. Even though Teddy Roosevelt and Abe Lincoln aren't Founding Fathers, I just think it fits as a stable name. We have a custom Elite Kevin Owens Live, pink and black, uh, MDT Live inspired Kevin Owens. And if you guys don't know what MDT Live is, it is my pick fed show that I run here on the channel. And, uh, you know, this is just sort of inspired by that, sort of a fantasy attire. Next up is one of my favorite customs in the collection, guys. It is my Punisher Seth Rollins. I saw this on 2K, I think. It was like a screenshot I saw on Twitter or something. And so I decided to bring it to RL. And uh, you have the Punisher skull there on the vest. On the back, you have the white. You got the SR logo there, black and white trunks black and white kick pads. One of my favorite Rollins figures, definitely by far. Rollins, one of my favorite wrestlers in the world, so very nice to have that in the collection. Next up, guys, we have a couple custom Dolph Zigglers, and there are a ton of Zigglers, Rollins, uh, the Zicinas. There's a, there's a ton of these different guys because they're my favorites. So you have a Dolph Ziggler right here from 2016 with the custom sculpted head, and then you have one of my favorite attires Ziggler has ever worn in the blue and white and black attire right here. Really love this, and it has the older Elite head sculpt with the Shawn Michaels hairpiece. Very nice there. There. So that is two Zigglers in my collection. Also, both of them have the sculpted flaps onto the boots. Next up, guys, we have a custom Elite Tyler Bate with like a Billy Gunn Jack's head sculpt that BW made. I'm not completely finished with it, but it is a work in progress Tyler Bate. We have another custom Elite Kevin Owens. I think, I don't remember when he wore this. Maybe it was Money in the Bank or something. You got the KO in the America. You got the red and blue tape with the red and blue kick pads. And then you have the KO there and there on the America. Probably one of my favorite attires. I just love it so much. I love the colors and brightness to it. So, uh, when that Mr. America gimmick that he was rocking was fantastic. Kevin Owens is definitely one of my favorite talents in the entire world. Next up, guys, we have probably one of my favorite customs in my collection, probably one of the newer ones. It is this custom elite Luchasaurus, one of my favorite talents in all of AEW. Freaking beautiful work here. This was all made by me. Besides the head sculpt, the head sculpt was made by BEW, who is just fantastic. There's a ton of work from him in this video, and I uh, have all the decals going around. You got the custom uh, painted trunks. You got the, the kick pads, everything on here. Very nice. One of my favorite customs customs in my collection by far. Next up guys, we have one of my favorite customs as well. We have the Money in the Bank Edge right here. God, I love this. This is all hand painted by Showstopper Custom Figs. Just really ridiculous. He even has the black Money in the Bank briefcase to go with it. I wish we had a head sculpt that better suits this era. You know, it's he had the longer hair, but it's, he wasn't smiling unless he was evil. So I would really appreciate if we could get that. Also, custom kick pads and everything. One of my favorite customs by far. Next up guys, we have a couple Finn Balors, but they're actually from two different eras right here because you have this custom Finn Balor that's like a, which is like a live event attire. He's worn this in Ireland, I think. It was like his St. Patrick's Day attire that he wore uh, for that. Uh, Finn Balor is also one of my favorite wrestlers, so I have that one. And then we have this Prince Devitt, the Venom attire, which was made by Showstopper Custom Figs. Very clean paint work. You have the Armani Exchange logos, all the good stuff going around. Just a fantastic custom, and you're going to see a ton of Finn Balors in this video. Next up, guys, we have another Dolph Ziggler, and it is Fastlane 2018, I think, and uh, we pretty much got this exact figure for a figure, except uh, the pink was wasn't like this. It was more of like a brighter pink for the Elite 70, but this is a custom head sculpt made by Showstopper Custom Figs. There's a ton of Zigglers in this video. Again, he's one of my favorite wrestlers, so uh, I have a ton of Dolph Zigglers, and this is another beauty made by Showstopper Custom Figs. Next up, guys, is a couple more Seth Rollins. We have the uh, Slammy Award winner in 2015 when he has the knee brace and the Slammy Award and the smelling head sculpt with the suit and tie in black. And then we have the Money in the Bank 2018 attire where he brought back the uh, his old 2015 attire, except he didn't have the SR belt. He had the regular belt on there and uh, he didn't wear gloves. So that is my little uh, 2018 fix up Seth Rollins right there, which has all the gray added to it. And then of course you have your Slammy Award winner. Next up guys, we have a bunch of Finn Balors, but the first one here is this 2019 Finn Balor. When he moved over to SmackDown Live, you have the long beard sculpt on there by my boy RKO 1974. And what a beautiful looking figure. I love this one to death. I'm hoping we get a head sculpt like this from Mattel. I freaking love this head sculpt with the beard and all the good jacks. Just freaking beautiful stuff. Next up guys, we have my 
Freddy Krueger Devitt right here, which is just a Prince Devitt in the Freddy Krueger. You even have the NECA Freddy glove there with the sweater and hat. All ties it all together. And I'm not going to take all his stuff off, but he does have the back, back paint and all that good jazz as well. We have this fantasy attire Finn Balor, which I did make myself. Back when I used to do a Finn Balor every single month, I did this black and green attire with the teeth coming through. Very nice there. Another Finn Balor, but it is Prince Devitt. We have the Spawn Prince Devitt. Very nice. Made by Showstopper Custom Figs as well. Ton of uh, work from him in here, and this is a very nice attire. And uh, not one of my favorites, but I definitely wanted this in my collection. Next up, we have one of my least favorite wrestlers ever, but I did want to make it for predictions videos in that nature. We have this sort of work in progress custom elite Lars Sullivan. Man, it is complete, but I'm waiting until we get that basic, and then I'm going to pop the head scan from the basic on there, and then it will be complete. Can't stand Lars Sullivan, though. Hey, he got injured, though. Next up, guys, is another Finn Balor. We have the Money in the Bank 2019 Finn Balor with the navy and gray attire. It is missing the BC logos, but uh, very simple stuff. Uh, it's not completed yet, but for the most part, it is done except for the decals. Next up, we have another Seth Rollins. It is one of my fantasy attires made by Burnout Inc., and it's just this white, black, and blue and gray inspired attire that I made on 2K a while back, and I wanted to bring it to my collection, and Burnout Inc. made that possible. Looks absolutely stunning. I love the white tights. White being my favorite color, it's just freaking beautiful, man. Next up, guys, another Dolph Ziggler. This is from No Mercy 2016 with his match with Miz in the pink attire made by Show Supper Custom Figs. Love this attire. Wish we would have got it in by Mattel, but, you know, we did end up getting that Elite 70. Next up is Royal Rumble 2018, I do believe, Finn Balor, and uh, I do have to touch up the decal, but for the most part, it is completed, but there's another Finn Balor for you. Coming in hot with another Finn Balor, guys, we have one of my fantasy attires. This is my fantasy attire It 2017 remake-inspired demon, and uh, pretty much I just had the idea to make a It-inspired demon Finn Balor, and this was the result, and I made this back in 2017 when the It, the first chapter, released. Uh, I know Chapter 2 just released, but there's the back. It says, You'll Float 2, and this inspired a ton of other uh, demon Finn Balors like this uh, around Instagram in the community, so that was pretty sweet there. Another Finn Balor, guys. I mean, my God, the Finn Balors. We have a NXT TakeOver Blackpool Finn Balor where he started rocking the white kick pads. You have the black on the back. You have the design there. You have the black on black trunks, and I really enjoyed that match with, what was his name, Jordan Devlet or Jordan? I can't remember, but sweet custom nonetheless. Next is a 2002 Return Triple H with a Jax R3 Triple H head scan on there. I took the 2000, uh, I took the Defining Moments Triple H jacket, put it on an undershirt there that matched the time. Added some blue jeans and everything like that. One of my favorite Triple H's. I just love this look of Triple H, and when I get that hat from, you know, the Ultimate Moments, I'll probably add that to it just to complete it off the top, but very nice Triple H. Next Next is a 2012 Money in the Bank Dolph Ziggler when he won the 2012 Money in the Bank. It has the headliner trunks on there made by Showstopper Custom Figs. One of my throwback Zigglers, uh, you know, with the trunks look that I have in my collection. I think I only have like two or three customs of, uh, you know, the short trunks look, but I'm glad I have this defining moment in his career. Next up, guys, is a Custom Elite Gender Mahal, and this was made by BEW Animations. That is actually a Roman Reigns head scan, if you can believe that, but I thought it looked like gender, so we sort of, uh, you know, spitballed it and made it happen. Really like this gender. I still have yet to get the Mattel one. Next up, guys, is a Custom Elite Hurricane made out of an X-Pac and a Hurricane Basic. There is some paint there with the tattoo, and I added an H on either side of the trunks and painted over the X-Pac logos. We have a Fantasy Attire Aleister Black, guys, and it's just white trunks. I took the NXT Target exclusive Aleister Black, painted over all the black and white, replaced his knee pads with Seth Rollins Elite 45 knee pads with the gold trim, and then added some Elite 63 Shelton Benjamin kick pads with some uh, Elite 45 Seth Rollins lower legs to give him appropriate height, and I really enjoy this Aleister Black fantasy attire. We have a Wrestle Kingdom 9 or 8. I think it's 8. I can't remember. Prince Devitt here with the Carnage slash zombie-ish attire. Uh, I think he came out and said it's not supposed to be Carnage, but it kind of just ended up that way when they started painting it up. And I really love this attire. He came out of the coffin. Just a freaking beautiful Prince Devitt. We have another Edge, guys, and it is uh, when he cashed in his money in the bank at New Year's Revolution on John Cena. So you have the rated R logos there, and you have the custom boots and everything like that. So I'm happy to own this Edge. We have a Royal Rumble 2019 uh, Seth Rollins here in the Chicago Bears attire with the uh, blue and orange and white made out of an Elite 45 Seth Rollins. Just painted all the orange on there, added the little decal there, and the rest is hand-painted by me. We have a WrestleMania 20 Triple H from one of my matches, favorite matches of all time. Now I just need the Shawn Michaels. I have the Chris Benoit, I have the Triple H, now I just need the Shawn Michaels, and this was made by Mac Decals, fantastic customizer on Instagram. If you guys aren't following him, go check him out. Next is another Rollins, guys. This 
is from the Money in the Bank in 2014 when he won the Money in the Bank. Obviously, it's got the blonde streak and the hair with the Elite 52 head scan, and I painted on the belt logo with the Elite 37 Rollins. We have another Bloodline Roman Reigns, guys. This version is in white, so I have the red version, and I have the white version with white wrist tape and red shoes. We have another Ziggler in trunks, guys. This is when he cashed in on Alberto Del Rio. You got the crazy hair sculpted on the back there. This was made by Showstopper Custom Figs, and he did sculpt on the hair, and then he repainted the trunks because this is way more accurate. It looks a whole lot better than the Elite 24 that we got from Mattel. We have another Lita, guys, and this time it is Team Extreme inspired, and we got the zebra print top, the zebra print panties showing there. You got all the different bracelets and stuff of that nature, and her hair and face is repainted. Also, the same sculpt work from the Rated R one is on the Lita there. We have a custom Elite Leo Rush, guys, and this is probably one of the only Leo Rushes I've ever seen. You know, he is pretty tough to make considering he's so small. This is a Booker T head sculpt made by BEW, but then we turn into Leo Rush, and then I added all the decals and paint and stuff of that nature, and this is long before he came into WWE, so I do appreciate that uh, we had that made. He used to be one of my favorite independent talents. Now he's just wasted. Next up, we have the Joker Prince Devitt, guys. If you guys have seen this before, uh, same made by Showstopper Custom Figs. Uh, beautiful looking work. Probably the best looking Joker Devitt I've seen uh, compared with the back thing there. You got the sculpted on, like, lip stuff going on that he had, actually, in the match. Fantastic looking Joker Devitt. We have a Chris Jericho, guys, and this one is from the early 2000s. One of my favorite looks uh, when, from when I was a kid. Just super nostalgic. You have the sideburns there. You have the silver and green X's going down. One of my favorite Jericho attires. Next up, guys, we have a Cash in CM Punk Elite 11 fix-up slash custom. I acetoned off the tattoo, head swapped it, and knee pad swapped it, and I think hand swapped it to give him that cash in for the World Heavyweight Championship look. We have another Jericho, guys, and it is from 2005. You have that short hairstyle. You have this beautiful looking work right here. This is probably one of my favorite customs. All this is hand painted on the sides. You have the Y2J wrist wristbands. You have the pink on the sides there. One of my favorite attires, guys. I wish Mattel would give this to us. We're not going to get it now because he's with AEW, but maybe one day we'll get this attire from Mattel, but I'm glad to have it in my collection side of, you know, Mattel making it. Jericho, another one of my favorites of all time. Next up, guys, is a No Mercy 2001 Kurt Angle here, and you have, or is it Unforgiven 2001? I can't remember. Anyways, you, uh, this was made by Showstopper Kurt custom figs and this is pretty much a statue now I'm afraid to even move this thing because it's such a work of art with the stripes and the stars and everything beautiful work by him nonetheless and you guys have already seen that throughout this video. Next guys we have a couple more Rollins for you. Uh, we have a 2014 Rollins which is basically just a belt design uh, painted on there and then we have a 2015 Rollins when he won the WWE Championship after Mania and he had the gold trim on the kick pads you have the, the dark gray on there you have the entrance vest on there, arm swap glove swapped and everything. Very beautiful looking Rollins. Next is another cabin Owens, guys, and I think this is SummerSlam 2017, I do believe, if I'm not mistaken. You have the KO in red, and then uh, we have the, oh, God in heaven. We have the custom uh, kick pads painted up in red and black. Very simple, but very nice. Next, guys, we have a custom Tama Tonga with a Usos head sculpt. I think it's Jimmy, or J I think it's Jimmy. No, it's Jay. I can't. I think it's Jay. It has the Jay head sculpt on there, the Jay Uso head sculpt. We have the custom tattoo on there. This is an Alberto Del Rio body. We have the custom painted on trunks there. This was made by BEW Animations. I think this is the best Tama Tonga I've seen as well, so I mean, I, I may be biased to all these customs, but I, I do think they look great in my opinion. Next is a fantasy attire made by me, guys, and we have the Punisher uh, Seth Rollins, so now we have the Punisher Jeff Hardy, and I just I had this idea one day to take a Jeff Hardy head sculpt, paint on the Punisher face paint, and then I added the custom t-shirt. Underneath, it's all black. It's an all black attire. I figured it would match perfectly with, for Punisher, but I did add a custom t-shirt, and the entrance coat totally matches it, and uh, he does have white gauges as well. Next up, we have an Elite 70 fix-up slash repaint, guys. I took the Elite 70 Finn Balor Jack the Ripper NXT figure, and I repainted the face because it looked terrible, and so I included it in this video. Next, we have my custom Elite Young Bucks, guys, and this is just two Drew McIntyre head sculpts. One is custom painted up. The other one, I don't think needed it. You have the white headband and everything. I took some Tyler Breeze Elites and just uh, hand-swapped them to get rid of the wrist tape look, and then basically just very regular, and then I put stripes on the sides there to give it like a zebra print look. Current MDT Tag Team Champions, uh, the Young Bucks, very simple formula for them, and uh, I like them a lot. You know, they're not perfect by any means, but they get the job done for me. Next is a fantasy attire again, guys, but this time it is AJ Styles, and it is this just sort of white and blue and gray and black or slash silver attire that I made. It's just the Elite 51 figure, but I painted over all the black and white, and then I came in and added light blue over the silver, added light blue gloves, and then just gave it black accents over the kick pads. Very nice figure. I've had a ton of compliments on this, and it's definitely my favorite AJ Styles in my collection, and I freaking love it. Next is a custom Neville, guys, and this is basically just a custom head sculpt made by BEW. We took a NXT Neville 
basic and then we added like pissed off looking face to Neville and then we added a long beard. Freaking beautiful. Probably my favorite Neville head sculpt I've ever seen. Next up we have a fantasy attire from one of my favorite wrestlers in the world, Cedric Alexander. I torso swapped it and then custom painted up everything here. You have like a Spider-Man design going on on the gauntlets, on the trunks here with the blue, silver, black all the way around on the back you have the CA logo you have the red kick pads white outsoles red knee pads with blue backing one of my favorite customs in my collection I just love Cedric Alexander and we threw in a custom red necklace getting back to Dolph Ziggler guys we have a custom 2016 SummerSlam Elite Dolph Ziggler made by Showstopper Custom Figs with all the nice decal and paint work on there very simple but very nice wish we got that from Mattel we did get a basic though we have another fantasy attire Finn Balor guys and this one is this sort of like Halloween-y uh, sort of just demonish sort of deal going on it's like purple orange got flames on his face there i just sort of spitballed this all together and this was a top talent spin baller all of this is hand painted by me and i really enjoy it. you got an eye on the back there in purple very very nice and i love the spin baller so we talked about luchasaurus guys now we got to talk about jungle boy so this is my jungle boy custom elite that goes with luchasaurus head sculpt made by bew the rest is made by me you got the brown going down you have this little waist wrap that probably doesn't belong but i think it makes it look more like jungle boy instead of just painting the trunks in brown and I like it a lot. He is very short, so I appreciate that. And there is Jungle Boy. Next, guys, we have a custom elite Matt Riddle that I think I'm going to redo the head sculpt on. But for now, it works. You know, you got the bare feet on there from UFC Jacks figure. It's an Elite 45 Seth Rollins on the torso, arms, crotch, uh, upper legs. And then we swapped out the thighs and then added the Jacks UFC legs. And it is an edge head sculpt with a Shawn Michaels hairpiece. And I'm going to redo it. But there's Matt Riddle for now. Another Seth Rollins for you guys. We have the SummerSlam 2018. Thanos attire and this is not very good but uh, you know I think I made it in like one day and kind of rushed it but it's not too too bad. Uh, I just wish we would get it from Mattel just so I could get rid of this one and you know just sort of break this one down but nonetheless here is our Thanos Seth Rollins from SummerSlam 2018. Next guys is my custom elite bad luck folly which is not completed but it's almost there. You, can, you guys can see I think it's an Akam head sculpt or a Razor I can't freaking remember but it does have all the tattoos uh, we switched out the arms for Umaga we custom painted all the tattoos added some rock TNA F legs and it is still a work in progress bad luck folly. Coming back to the Finn Balor's guys we have a No Mercy 2017 Finn Balor where he took on Bray Wyatt very nice. The hand is falling out because these are the interchangeable hands and not the hands that actually came in these arms so there is uh, all the different grays. You have like a dolphin gray, a light gray and white. Very nice attire. We have another Elite Custom Jeff Hardy, guys, and this one is a TNA attire. I think Jax made a figure of this, but I wanted to make it in Mattel form, and uh, the arms are a piece of trash. They're all chippy and crappy because the primer... I'm never using primer again. This is another reason why I don't use primer. It just freaking ruined it. You can't tell here in the video, but uh, this is simply just for display. Next up, guys, we have a Custom Elite Batista from the early 2000s here when he was in Evolution with the red... I can't remember who made this, but I did buy this from Steinsenberg Customs. Uh, I think... I can't remember the guy's name, the Made it, but very talented nonetheless. Very simple paint work. Custom Elite Kevin Owens coming back in, guys. It's another variant of that one you guys saw at the beginning of the video with the Kevin Owens Live, except this one has fix-up arms and it does have the pink kick pads again, except it's got a simpler design with the pink KO. Two more Custom Zigglers, guys. We have our Money in the Bank 2017, I think, or 2018. I can't remember. You have the zebra print with the Hollywood heel, and then we have the 2016 attire with the DZs all over it. We did get this in basic form, but we did not get this one. I really love this one. I wish we would have gotten this in elite form. Another the Triple H guys we have the corporation style Triple H in the early 2000s right here they are making this in ultimate edition which I am very excited for but I am happy to have my elite right here I need to boot swap it because they're all like the ankle joints like loosey-goosey freaking terrible that's why it keeps falling all over the John Brown place continuing on guys I think this is the first Randy Orton we have right here but it's a 2014 attire it's just the red black and white attire made by BEW you also did some custom work to the head sculpt we have another Kevin Owens and I don't remember again when he wore this but you have the fight anyone attire with the KOs on the the sides but this time it does have blue kick pads and I made this before the Elite 66 came out so it is different though it does have the blue kick pads so that's nice we have one of my favorite Prince Devons in my collection guys it is the custom anti-venom attire for the it's not a demon obviously because he wasn't a demon back then but it is this nice anti-venom attire from Prince Devitt freaking love this so clean so nice made by Showstopper Custom Figs next up guys we have a fantasy attire Dolph Ziggler made by BEW and Venomine Figs it has my MDT logo here and an MDT logo on the butt 
right there. Good, get a quick zoom in shot right here so you guys can see that. Freaking beautiful stuff. One of my favorite figures. I love the personalization of it and you do have the pink and stuff going on that relates to the channel. So it's definitely one of my favorite ones and it is sentimental. We have another Dolph Ziggler, guys, continuing on. This is a sort of fix-up fantasy attire that I used for the pick fed. It's just an Elite 19 Ziggler, but instead of just the regular trunks, I did paint over the silver and black just to give it a simpler look. You got the long hair, black wrist tape, black boots, and black knee pads. We have a SummerSlam 2004 Randy Orton, guys, so we do have quite the number of Randy Ortons. He's my second favorite wrestler of all time, so I do have quite the number of those, so we'll get into those as we go, but 2004 SummerSlam where he defeated Chris Benoit for the World Heavyweight Championship. We have a live event attire for Finn Balor, guys, in the white. I don't think he's ever worn this on television, but uh, it is one of my favorite attires. Very simple to make and very effective. We have two more Rollins, guys. We have my fantasy attire pink, and then we have my 2014 Rollins right here. Uh, basically, the Elite 37 with the gray painted over in black to give it that look that he had in 2014, and then we have this fantasy attire pink, which is the TNF, just with some lines in pink added, and uh, very, very simple. Just one day crossed my mind, and I think I've inspired quite a few people to try this custom out themselves, so if you want to try it, go ahead and do it. Next up, guys, is a Randy Orton right here. I think this is TLC 2013 when he took on John Cena and won both championships. I could be wrong about that, but I think this is this attire in the black and silver. Very, very simple Randy Orton custom made by BEW. We have an Extreme Rules 2017 Finn Balor right here, guys, which we did get from Mattel in the Top Talents 2019 where he took on Trash Corbin, but I actually like my color better. I think it's more of a gunmetal gray, and this one was made by myself. We have a custom elite John Cena, guys. My all-time favorite wrestler right here. This is his 2006 gear with the, the armbands in the camo with the dog tag. This is made by Showstopper Custom Figs. I don't think I've ever seen anybody else recreate this custom. You have the custom hat, armbands, and everything, shirt, the camo shorts. The only thing I would say is he needs to have the longer jorts, but we've never gotten longer jorts in the camo mold, which uh, hopefully we get very soon from Mattel. Another custom John Cena, guys. We have his 2012 Breast Cancer Awareness attire with the pink armbands and the pink and black shirt. He has the Rise Above Cancer t-shirt. Very, very nice here. We have a 2004 Triple H here with the handlebar mustache and the trunks that he used to wear back in the day there. I love this head sculpt, screaming head sculpt with the handlebar mustache. I, I hate that we've never gotten a handlebar mustache uh, head sculpt from Mattel. That is very disappointing, but this was also made by Showstopper Custom Figs. We have another custom fantasy attire, Finn Balor, guys, and this one is my white Phantom attire. This is back when I used to do the Finn Balor of the Month custom, and uh, very, very nice stuff. I love the color white, so this one's one of my favorites. Another custom Elite Randy Orton, guys, this is the, uh, the Evan Born RKO, where he went for the shooting star press, and then Randy Orton caught him in the RKO. This is the exact moment there. He didn't have any wrist tape. He had the black and army green trunks, and he was bald-headed there, so I really like this custom made by BEW. We have my custom elite Lance Catamaran John Cena made by BEW. You guys know what South Paul Regional Wrestling is. If you don't know what that is, look it up on YouTube. Very hilarious, and I had to have this in my collection because Cena's my all-time favorite. I had to add this into uh, my Cena collection. We have my fantasy attire Terminator Finn Balor, guys, right here. Very, very nice. I love this one to death. I actually did a tutorial on this one on YouTube, so you guys should look that up. We have my John Cena return with the Ellen Shorts custom right here. I actually got this off eBay, and uh, it even has the Ellen Shorts on there with the Ellen logos and everything like that, and they custom painted up the shoes, which looks so much better than what Mattel has given us. We have my fantasy attire Seth Rollins in blue, gray, and black. This was going to be a Spider-Man figure, but then once I painted on that blue, guys, it was over with. I freaking love the way the blue came out, so I kept it like this, and a lot of people around the community really love this Seth Rollins attire as well. We have my Extreme Rules 2016 Dolph Ziggler, where he took on Trash Corbin. Probably my favorite Ziggler attire he's ever worn. I just love white and pink, two of my favorite colors, combined here with the custom shirt and a custom head sculpt. Man, freaking beautiful looking Ziggler. I love this Ziggler so much, and actually is one of the oldest customs in my entire collection. We have a Money in the Bank 2017 Finn Balor right here, or maybe 2018. I can't freaking remember, but it's that sort of Spider-Man attire with the red, white, and navy with this sort of like crystallized look going on on it. I freaking love that Finn Balor. We have a SummerSlam 2011 Randy Orton where he took on Christian for the World Heavyweight Championship with the black and light blue trunks. We have an early 2000s Chris Jericho in the lightning attire with a Jax R3 head sculpt. Really love this one, made by Showstopper Custom Figs. We have an Elimination Chamber 20 2018 Finn Balor in the royal blue and black attire. Very, very simple stuff, but very, very nice nonetheless. We have another custom elite Jericho with the torso swap. I wish they used this torso for Jericho more often, but uh, I, I just think it makes the figure look so much better and more accurate. We have my custom Roman Reigns United States Champion attire with the Roman Reigns emblem right there with the USA logo with the navy and gold going around the vest. 
We have my Randy Orton custom head sculpt by BEW with a WrestleMania 31 attire and the red, silver, and black when he hit the curb stomp RKO on Seth Rollins. We have another custom elite John Cena, guys, with the uh, black and white chain gang logos. I love these armbands so much with the custom hat as well. Next up, guys, we have my custom WrestleMania 34 Randy Orton right here with the older, uh, the, the flashback head sculpt because his hair was kind of grown out like this. I added a 5 o'clock shadow. And then, of course, we did repaint the trunks in that sort of bronzish, orangish color that he had. One of my favorite Orton attires. I think it's very underrated, even though you know, he lost the U.S. Championship on this night to Jinder Mahal in a fatal four-way trash, terrible awfulness. Next is my Money in the Bank 2016 Dolph Ziggler. Another one of my favorite attires. I just love this zebra-esque print that he had going on in this time with the black and blue. Very, very similar. Obviously, it's just a different color scheme than the Extreme Rules attire, but very nice nonetheless with that same sort of skull pattern and the Don't Tread on Me on the buttocks. Next up, guys, we have another Cena, and it is the Cena 8-bit attire made by Showstopper custom face got the custom uh, army green and black armbands and we have the custom camo digital attire you can't see me hat and of course the custom shirt to go with it another custom batista guys uh this was also made by that same guy who made the other one again cannot remember his name but very nice custom nonetheless from the early 2000s of batista we have a custom elite triple h where he took on booker t for the world heavyweight championship we also we obviously got this from mattel later on but i did have this long before mattel made it and it was made by showstopper custom figs and i do like this one a lot next so guys, we have a Royal Rumble, or no, it's Survivor Series. Survivor Series 2017, Finn Balor in the red. Uh, the decal is a little messed up. Got to add some red paint right there, but it is completed for pretty much the most part. We have a custom Elite Goldberg. Long before Mattel was going to give it to us, this is in his uh, 2003 run with the black, half black, half white look, and this was made by Beast Nation. So we got a ton of different customizers represented in this video, and I actually think I like this one more than the one Mattel made us. Next up, we have another Roman Reigns, guys, but this one is my custom white attire, completely fantasy. It's white and gold. It has pretty much just an all-white look of Roman Reigns and uh, this got a ton of positive feedback on Instagram back in 2017 when I posted it. It may have even been 2016. I can't remember when I posted it, but nonetheless, white and gold and black Roman Reigns. Super loosey-goosey though. We have another Randy Orton, guys, and this time it is Royal Rumble 2017 when he won the Royal Rumble to go on to face Bray Wyatt at WrestleMania. It's, it's got like the bronzish, orangish color over the black and a custom head sculpt made by BEW. Another Triple H, guys, and this time it is his 2003 attire, and this is made by Jesus Customs, and we have the uh, the blue boots, the blue trunks, and I got this in the Kayfabe Secret Santa competitions little thing that we do every single year, and I freaking love this to death. I do need to switch out that head sculpt for a uh, clean shaven head, though. We have another custom Randy Orton, and this time it is Armageddon 2003 in the purple, black, and white. This is the uh, pay-per-view when Evolution held every single championship there with the Intercontinental, the World Tag Titles, and the World Heavyweight Championship. We have another BEW made custom, guys. It is this custom Kurt angle he did uh, he took a regular torso sculpted on a singlet added the angle logos added these stars which are hand painted which is ridiculous did the same thing to the knee pads and the boots and i added the medals from the entrance greats kurt angle and i freaking love this angle probably one of my favorite angles in my collection i just love this so very much i need to head swap it with a, uh, a mattel angle for sure but i like this formula much better for angle than mattel i just think that this torso works much better next up guys we have another finn balor and this time it is nxt takeover the end finn balor where he took on samoa joe in the steel cage right here in the black and gray and white attire made by Joe Stopper Custom Figs and it does have all of the nice designs going on. You guys know what you get with Show Stopper. Just very clean paint job. Very intense uh, customizer. One of the best in the game by far. More Randy Orton continuing guys. We have a WrestleMania 35 Randy Orton here and this is much better than the one Mattel gave us. It has a custom head skull but it also has all of the details that the Mattel one was missing on the trunks here. You have the snakeskin detail going on on the knee pads on the trunks and be EW nailed this. It's much, much better than the one Mattel gave us. Continuing the Randy Orton trend, guys, we have a fantasy attire here in white, gray, and black, and I freaking love this. You guys know I had, white's my favorite color. I try to get a custom in white uh, from all of my favorite wrestlers, and that is the case here with this Randy Orton. So we have this here with the white trunks. Freaking beautiful looking design, and I think I may head swap it and arm swap it, but I, I still like I feel like white boots would have made it way too much white, but I still love the Randy Orton. We have a few Finn Balor's coming up, guys. We have my custom Custom Christmas edition Finn Balor of the Demon. It's this like Grinch inspired Christmas just craziness. We got the lime green sleeves, red and green going around. I have him some custom Kobe 7 Christmas shoes going on there that I painted up because I'm a huge sneaker head and I love Kobe. So I went ahead and added that, but there is that one. Another Finn Balor, guys. Moving on, we have the SummerSlam 2018 when he took on Trash Corbin, I do believe, and he has the tongue sticking out. This was made by BEW. Freaking immaculate paintwork. He sculpted on this tongue. I mean, this is absolutely insanity 
custom cloth bands going on, and it is freaking amazing. We are getting this in an Ultimate Edition figure, but I think BEW's may be better, man. We'll have to see when that figure releases. We're running out of room here, but we are almost done with the customs, guys. We have another Prince Devitt. This is the Punisher Prince Devitt. There is a freaking black mark right there on the tit, and there's like a black line on his arm. I gotta get rid of that arm mark, and I gotta cover up that black there with white, but uh, this was made by Showstopper Custom Figs, and Punisher being my second favorite Marvel character. It's very nice. See, I have Jeff Hardy, I have Prince Devitt slash Finn Balor, and I have Seth Rollins, so it's pretty cool to have all those. We have a 2014 Randy Orton attire, guys, right here, and this is the silver attire, another custom head sculpt and paint work by BEW. I love the silver in the trunks with the black designs on the outlines. Just freaking immaculate. One of my favorite Randy Orton uh, designs and attire, so I definitely wanted it in my collection. Literally running out of room, guys. We are running out of room. There's literally not much room left, but I think we're down to like the last six customs or so. We have a custom Elite Alistair Black that was made by Mad Reaper. All hand-painted here on the back design. This was a completely hand-painted design on the back. All the de tattoos are decals and the head sculpt is a Heath Slater, but I got this long before Mattel made there, so I like this a lot. I could actually probably interchange the head sculpt for the Mattel one, and then you know, this one would be much uh, more height accurate, but you know, I I'm a sucker for Mattel finished figures. Next up, guys, we have another John Cena, and it is the white and black armband Live Fast Fight Hard Attire. He didn't rock this for very long, but uh, I had to have it in my uh, collection because he's my favorite of all time. I have like a complete timeline of all the John Cena attires that he's rocked over the years. Every shirt, every hat, all the armbands, so I had to add this one, and I definitely love it. Speaking of which, guys, we have the 2009 John Cena here. I call this the John Deere attire because it has the green and the, the yellow, and it's just so saturated. Also made by Showstopper Custom Figs. Custom t-shirt again, and just a fantastic attire. Uh, not my favorite by far, but it's still a really nice attire. One more John Cena, guys, we do have the Rise Above Cancer, Breast Cancer Awareness Never Give Up 2013 attire in the khaki shorts with the custom t-shirt and the more saturated, like, neon pink hat and armbands that he rocked the year after the one you guys saw from 2012, and I really like this one. I don't think I've ever seen anyone else do these. I don't know why. Like, John Cena customs are very popular, I think, because the decals are so small and stuff, but I freaking had to add them to the collection. Our last Randy Orton custom, guys, it is this fantasy attire here, and it's pretty much just like a cool gray with black designs and lime green outline. I feel like he would rock this in real life. We haven't seen it yet, but I think that uh, when he rocks gray and different color, uh, you know, gears for his trunks, I think it's a lot better. Uh, like his snakeskin red one that he wore not too long ago. I think it was Super Showdown that he wore versus Triple H. I really like that attire. I'd like to see that from Mattel, but uh, another uh, Randy Orton to add here, and it is the final one of the video. But now we have our last two customs, guys. Finishing it out, we have this custom Batman fantasy attire that I made for the, uh, the custom Finn Balor of the month. It has the cape. It has the Batman mask sculpted by BEW, but the paintwork is all me. I also added Evan Bourne kick pads because it kind of looked like Batman. Gray knee pads to tie it all together. And the last custom that we have, guys, is this fantasy white attire Triple H. Again, another one of my favorites of all time, so I had to get a fantasy white attire made. Uh, some people that are missing fantasy white attires, I think, are Chris Jericho, Dolph Ziggler. I'd have to sit here and think about it, but there are some guys I don't have fantasy white attires of, but I do need to get a couple of those guys made. Also, I I think Seth Rollins is probably missing and John Cena are missing from that, but we will get that taken care of, but here's the last one, a custom fantasy attire Triple H with white and black boots as well. Very, very nice with the custom head sculpt from Showstopper Custom Figs, and mercifully we are done with the entire collection guys. That is my entire custom elite figure collection you guys can see. Um, again, uh, if you guys want to, I would love to know down in the comment section below, please somebody comment how many total customs there are, and then break it down by Superstar. You know, how many Finn Balors do we have, how many Randy Orton's, how many John Cena's, Seth Rollins, break that down for me. Uh, even if there's just one of somebody, you know, name it off in numerical order, you know, yeah, it's Finn Balor, 27, or whatever, and go down the list, and also tell me how many total there are. I really appreciate that. If you stayed all the way to the end of this video, from the beginning to now, then I want you to d comment down below, hashtag my damn customs, or my damn customs, or something of that nature. You will get an automatic heart from me, and I really appreciate that. The guys that watch from all the way from start to finish really help out the channel, and you guys are the B and saviors of the channel, but uh, that is going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. It took a long butt time, but, you know, we finally reached it. We got all the customs done. Please comment down below all those breakdowns and the My Damn Customs. I'm sure somebody uh, has already done it. It's probably the top comment on the video if you've broken it down and, you know, counted and all that stuff, but I really appreciate it, guys. Thank you so very much for watching all the way through. I love all of my customs freaking 
freaking immaculate. I, I think I have one of the most unique custom figure collections I think I've ever seen. You just have so many varieties of different things and, you know, different customizers and uh, a lot of superstars, obviously, of one, but there are a lot of different guys, and uh, I really love it. So, customs are probably one of my favorite things about the community, so I just freaking love it so much, man. But that is going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.